Even though 2024 has been a year of mixed opportunities and challenges in Nigeria, the government has taken different measures to revamp and restructure the Nigerian economy with the intention of easing financial hardship and boosting productivity. They have established a multi-layered framework to bolster coordination, planning, implementation and the establishment of the renewed OPE Infrastructure Development Fund to facilitate effective infrastructure development across pivotal areas such as agriculture, transportation, ports, aviation, energy, healthcare and education in Nigeria. Hello everyone, welcome to Connect Lock TV where we create entertainment videos about Africa and the world. Today we would be looking at the top 10 massive projects transforming Nigeria from 2024 to 2025 and beyond in no particular order. The projects at number 10 are some of the ambitious projects of the Federal Republic of Nigeria which has already commenced but are expected to be fully completed by 2027 hopefully amounting to 18 trillion naira if that sounds like something you're interested in like subscribe share and comment on which project you find exciting one power plant and gas refinery projects nigeria's president bola ahmed tunubu has set a target of increasing nigeria's electricity capacity by 4000 megawatts within the next 24 months his belief in harnessing Nigeria's gas resources for power generation is reflected in the following projects, which are in various stages of planning, construction, and commissioning. Zuguru Hydroelectric Power Station This 700 megawatts hydroelectric power plant is a newly constructed hydroelectric power station in Niger State, Nigeria. Mambila Hydroelectric Power Plant Project this 3000 megawatts hydroelectric facility is being developed in Taraba State, Nigeria. The project is undertaken by Nigeria's Federal Ministry of Power with Chinese investment, expected to commence operation in 2030. Mambila will be Nigeria's biggest power plant, producing approximately 4.7 billion kilowatts hours of electricity per year. AHL gas processing plant recently commissioned in Delta State, Nigeria. Anor gas processing plant located in Imo State, Nigeria. Anor OB3 CTMS located in Imo State, Nigeria, which was recently commissioned. Shiroro Solar Generating Company, a 20 megawatt solar hydro hybrid project in Shiroro, Niger State. Siemens Power Project. The first phase of this project is expected to be commissioned soon. Ajaokuta Kaduna Kano Gas Pipeline Project, Wagwalada Independent Power Plant, 900 megawatts Kaduna Power Plant Project, 1.3 megawatts Kano Power Plant Project, 2. Railway Infrastructure Development with the aim of bridging the infrastructure gap in Nigeria, the federal government of Nigeria is focused on ongoing construction and completion of railway projects across the nation, which includes Eastern Rail Lines, China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation, CCECC, the contractor in charge of laying tracks on the Eastern Narrow Gateway Rail Project, announced in January 2024 that it had completed track laying on the Portacourt to a bar section of the corridor. The Eastern Rail Line connects Portacourt in the southeast to Maduguri in the northeastern state of Borono, near the border with Chad. Approximately 33 billion naira was earmarked for railway projects including Abuja Kano Railway Project, completion of the Ibadan end of the Lagos Ibadan Railway Project, Kano Kaduna Railway, Lagos Kano Railway, which is set to begin freight operation in June 2024, rehabilitation of the Itakwe Ajakuta Railway Line. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video.
3. Healthcare Infrastructure The Federal Government of Nigeria has approved the disbursement of 25 billion naira to strengthen healthcare infrastructure across Nigeria through the Basic Healthcare Provision Fund. This initiative aims to enhance healthcare infrastructure across the states in Nigeria. Key health infrastructure upgrades will occur across Nigeria's six geopolitical zones, including the University of Benin Teaching Hospital, Amadou Bello University Teaching Hospital, University of Nigeria Unsuka, Federal Teaching Hospital Castina, Lagos State Teaching Hospital, Reference Hospital Kaduna, Medical Diagnostic Center Complex Enugu, Usman Danfodio University Teaching Hospital Sokoto, University College Hospital Ibadan, University of Uyo Teaching Hospital Akwa Ibom, Bubaka Tafa Balewa University Teaching Hospital Baochi, Federal Medical Center Asaba, Amoni Advanced Diagnostic Center Ilori, Josh University Teaching Hospital, and the Federal Medical Center Nuguru. These critical projects are set to be delivered within 12 to 18 months. As part of his dedicated effort to build robust human resources for health and social welfare sector, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has approved the conversion of Federal College of Dental Technology and Therapy Enugu to a full-fledged university. The institution will now be known as the Federal University of Allied Health Sciences Enugu and will be under the Federal Ministry of Health and Social Welfare. 4. Dangote Refinery There are indications that Nigeria's huge dependency on imported petrol will reduce as the $20 billion Dangote Refinery has concluded plans to begin supplying petrol to Nigeria's domestic market from May 2024. The Dangote Refinery, an oil refinery owned by Dangote Group, was inaugurated on May 22, 2003 when in full operation it is expected to have the capacity to process about 650,000 barrels per day of crude oil, making it the largest single train refinery in the world. If the refinery performs as anticipated, its productivity is expected to significantly improve the total output of the country's manufacturing sector and external sectors, especially trade and exchange rates. 5. CNG Initiative After the removal of fuel subsidy on May 29, 2023, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu launched the presidential CNG initiative in October of last year to deliver cheaper, safer and more climate-friendly energy. The CNG initiative was designed to deliver compressed natural gas, especially for mass transit. As part of its many initiative programs to reduce the burden of increased pump price on the masses, the federal government provided 100 billion naira as part of the 500 billion naira palliative budget to purchase 5,500 CNG vehicles, buses, and tricycles, 100 electric buses, and over 20,000 CNG conversion kits. This also includes spurring the development of CNG refueling stations and electric charging stations. All is now set for the delivery of four sets of the crucial assets for deployment and launch of the CNG initiative ahead of the first anniversary of the Tinubu's administration on May 29, 2024. With necessary tax and duty waivers approved by the President in December 2023, the PCNGI committee is partnering with private sector to fulfill the initiative's promise. The private sector has responded with over $50 million in actual investment in refueling stations, conversion centers, and mother stations. In all, over 600 buses are targeted for production in the first phase, which will be accomplished this year. The new plant on the Lagos Ibadan Expressway will assemble thousands of tricycles. Halfway through the list, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. 6. Revitalization and modernization of major airports in Nigeria and seaport modernization. 
major Nigerian airports are soon to wear a new look with the initiation of their revitalization and modernization. This is being made possible by the recent approval of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's Renewed Hope Infrastructure Development Fund, which aims to facilitate effective infrastructure development across pivotal areas such as agriculture, transportation, ports, aviation, energy, healthcare, and education in Nigeria. According to the Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Festus Kiamo, there are plans to establish a new and proper national carrier as part of efforts to deliver Nigeria's aviation sector and boost economic development. Festus Kiamo also revealed plans to start master plans for the five international airports which would then extend it to all other airports across the country. It will be recalled that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has directed both him and his deputy, Kasim Shetima, and other top Nigerian government officials are now to pay access fees at the gates of airports across the country. Additionally, Emirates Airlines will resume daily flights between Lagos and Dubai in October 2024. In the area of seaport modernization and expansion, the Nigerian government has secured a $600 million investment for seaport infrastructural development from Danish shipping and logistics company AP Molemex to expand existing port infrastructure and accommodate more container shipping services in Nigerian ports. Also, President Bola Metunubu has approved seven road projects to boost business activities and logistic services at the Lekki Deep Sea Ports. 7. Renewed Hope Cities and Estates In order to address the housing deficits in Nigeria, the federal government, through the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development, introduced the Renewed Hope Cities and Estates program. This initiative is a component of a public private partnership project established in December 2023 between the ministry and a consortium of companies namely Continental Civil and General Construction Limited and Sicily Limited. This collaboration seeks to construct a total of 100,000 housing units nationwide. Each renewed hope city is slated to feature at least 1,000 housing units per site within one location in each of the six geopolitical zones of the country, including the FCT. Concurrently, renewed hope estates are expected to feature a minimum of 500 housing units per site across the remaining 30 states. The renewed hope cities and estates are envisioned as inclusive residential communities catering to diverse income levels. The initial stage of the Renewed Hope Cities and Estate Program aims to provide 20,000 housing units in the FCT, Federal Capital Territory of Abuja, with 3,112 units designated for construction at the Kasana sites. Additionally, approval has been given by the Federal Government of Nigeria for the engagement of R2U architects as consultants for the construction of NELEA barracks in Enugu, Kano, and Jigawa, highlighting the government commitment to enhance the living condition of NDLEA personnel. 8. Steel and Lithium Plants President Bola Ametunubu has welcomed the unveiling of the lithium processing plant with an average capacity to produce about 4,000 metric tons daily. The plant, situated in Nasarawa State, was built by the Chinese firm Avatar. Meanwhile, Canmax Technology, a renowned Chinese firm responsible for over 30% of global battery material production, has announced a new investment of $200 million for another lithium processing plant in Nasarawa State. The federal government has also announced plans to establish an indigenous lithium battery factory after Nigeria and China signed a part on the construction of a $150 million battery plant. This move is designed to reduce Nigeria's dependency on foreign production 
and foster the local manufacturing of vital energy storage components. As part of efforts to industrialize Nigeria through steel industry, the federal government has commenced discussion with a Chinese company, Luan Steel Holding Group, to build a new steel plant in Nigeria and commence production of military hardware at the Ajakuta Steel Plant. 9. Refinery Rehabilitation Project Recently, according to the Managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, Malikiari, the Portacot Refinery is set to resume operation before the end of the second quarter of 2024. The Portacot Refinery Rehabilitation Project is being undertaken in three phases and is expected to be completed by 2025. He also mentioned that repair works at the Kaduna and Wari refineries are nearing completion. According to him, the Kaduna refinery is expected to commence operation in December. With the completion of those refineries and the addition of supply from the 650,000 barrels per day from Dangote refinery, the nation would be able to meet its domestic fuel demand. Don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the video 10 road infrastructure development the minister of works engineer david umayi revealed that the sum of 18.6 trillion naira is required to address the road sector in the next four years with the approval of 217 billion naira for 260 emergency road repairs nationwide and with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's keen interest in reinstating most roads in the country with the aim of improving connectivity across the nation. The following are some of the roads and bridge infrastructural development projects undergoing construction and commissioned by the federal government. East-West Road, Lagos-Calabar Coastal Road, Rehabilitation of Enugu Portacot Expressway, Sokoto Badagri Super Highway, Bini Ekpoma, Auchi, Okwela Road, Okene Lokoja Road, Abuja Lokoja Road, Buja Kaduna Road, Lagos Abidjan Highway, Dualization of Obanjano Bini Road, Construction of Isheri North Ogun State Road, Rehabilitation of Ebute Eru Outer Marina Shoreline in Lagos, Revamping Todmelan Bridge, Ivoreni Bridge along East West Road, Lafia Bypass Road, Dualization of the 9th Mile Otuko Makodi Road, Maraba Kefi Road, Dualization of Sapale Agbo Ewu Road, Rehabilitation of Umaya Ekot Ekwene Road, Rehabilitation of Ibadon Abekuta Road, Bini Abuja Road, Shendem Lafia Road. Construction of two collapsed bridge in Enugu. Reconstruction of two locations on the Onicha Owe Road. Abuja Lagos Super Highway. Bodo Boni Highway. Abuja Makodi Dual Carriage Road. Portacot Maduguri Road. Reconstruction of Bini Wari Dual Carriage Road. Thank you for watching. Let us know which project you are anticipating the completion in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, you will enjoy this one too. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And as always, stay connected and stay inspired. See you on the next one.